So hello everyone and welcome back or to my channel. My name is Erica and today I will be doing the update to my graveyard project pan and this is update one for round two and as usual I'd like to say thanks to Emily Max for uh, creating this video idea and I think it's really cool because it's a good way to get to use up project pan items that you've used before and haven't hit your goal on or to use up older items because normally I feel like in Project Pants I see newer items if that makes sense. It's like um, products that may not have pan in them or don't look fully loved yet so yeah I'm gonna get started um, but before I do I just wanted to say that um, I did do a pretty big ColourPop declutter. I am trying to get ColourPop out of my collection because I don't support the company and in doing so I did get rid of a couple items from this project if you saw the last video it's mostly it's all ColourPop items but not everything uh, I didn't put all my ColourPop items in just the ones that um, I really needed to work on and felt like I wanted to work on um, so yeah, I did declutter a couple of items and I won't be talking about them, but I will put it in the description box what I decluttered and what I finished and what I still have left and things that I've adding, I'm adding in this time. So yeah, I'm going to get started now with the two items that I'm going to call done. So I have these two lip glosses. I have removed a stopper at least once on each one of them, put it upside down for a full night and nothing. So. I, I'm not going to like scrape these to the very bottom. I don't love the formula and I just want it out of my collection. I did really like the color on Champagne Mommy, but I feel like these go by really quick. Like you can use it up in two weeks if you just constantly use it. Um, if you don't remove the stopper. If you Once you remove the stopper though, uh, you get like another week's worth of it. So I have these two done and did I see what colors they were? It's this one's Paper Moon, which I believe is discontinued, and Champagne Mommy. I'm not sure if it's discontinued or not. I don't really care. And yeah, I'm gonna hold it closer so you can see that I did scrape the sides. It looks like there's still product at the bottom, but you know what? I can't scrape it anymore, and I'm not willing to, so. And then I declared some things. And these are three of the lip glosses that I have left. I have Stelio, which I just opened. I really like this color. It's kind of it kind of reminds me of like how the Fenty glosses are, which is like not opaque but not completely sheer. So this is Stelio. I've only used it like a handful of times. Um, this is Netta. I have used Netta so many times and like no progress like I can scrape the sides down and it looks like I haven't even used it and it's annoying me because I don't like this color it's very also the formula for this one is very thick and gloopy and I don't I don't like it so well I'm definitely not repurchasing anything from here but there's some colors that I will miss obviously um, and then the last color is Fantasia and this is what it looks like. It's like tan with gold sparkles in it. I hope it's not very textury, but I haven't opened this one yet. Um, I have no way of proving I didn't open it, but the other two for sure I have used. Moving on to the next lip product, I have the lippy sticks in the shade Toasty, and it's a cream formula. I'm pretty sure this is discontinued because you know how ColourPop will give you like a gift for being late with shipping and the gift is normally some expired or not expired but like something that they no longer sell and it's like I would have much rather appreciated to have like getting my order on time but anyway this is what it looks like I haven't used it yet but I'm just telling you there's this much in it I'm gonna go with about an inch and a half how many centimeters is that? Like, uh, one inch is 3.75 centimeters? Probably 
more than that, but yeah. I actually have a lipstick that I'm trying to use up. That's the exact same color as this in another project, and I'm almost done with it, so as you can see, <laughs> I'm almost done with it, and the color is very similar. It's not the same. I don't know. I'm not going to swatch it, but yeah, so... I can't wait to use up this lipstick and then I'll start using this. So I'm pretty sure by the next update I'll have some progress to report on this. I think for the first time ever I'm actually going to mark this on a piece of paper but uh, to track it. But other than that, I can't really track. I can't weigh it and track it. But this is almost done so I can start working on this lipstick. And last item that I have to talk about from last time is the ColourPop super shock cheek in the shade churro and this was a tie-dye um, until I mixed it all together I had like a small circle in the middle when I started but now it's like much wider I use this on my body because it is too dark for my face I should have listened to the warnings when it said for medium to dark skin girls and I was like I get that color in the summer. Well, because I've been inside a lot, I haven't gotten the chance to really tan. Yeah, I'm really hoping to finish this product um, within the next month or so. So now I'm going to roll a couple of items in because I only have four right now. So, um, keeping up with the theme of ColourPop, I have a, uh, what is it called? Resur a product for the resurrection category. Actually, I have two for the resurrection category. One is this. This is ColourPop's Tea Garden. And my goal is to use it up, <laughs> ideally, by the end of the year. But um, I really like this shadow. And I think my goal for this project may just be to hit pan. And then I think I'm just going to keep it in this project until the end of the project, regardless of whether I hit pan or not. or Unless I use it up by the end of the project. I used to use this daily, um, but then I started to pan those eyeshadows, and now it's a little harder to use this daily because I've like spread so thin <laughs> amongst like my eyeshadow projects now. But yeah, I'm going to work on this one. I wish it wasn't by ColourPop because then I could get another one, but at last it's by ColourPop. Okay, and then I have two lipsticks that I'm going to be putting in. I feel like this year I'm just trying to use up all my lipsticks and it's crazy. So, also for Resurrected, I have this Lipstick Queen lipstick. Uh, both this and the eyeshadow were from my last Project Pan Roulette um, round. So, they're both from round 7. And this is what I have left on this lipstick. My goal is to use it up. And also, I have some that I accidentally smushed down in the cap. Which is why this is so flat. <laughs> um... But yeah, I just want to use this up and get it out of my collection. A friend gave this to me after she, she and I went to an Ulta to go look for this because it was half off. And we didn't find it, but she got it for me for Christmas. And so it's very special to me, but at the same time, I don't really like this that much. I don't like it enough to repurchase it, but I, will, I like it enough to use it up completely. And no, I do not dig out the bottom with lip brushes because... Or I'm not going to dig out what's left after I get past the plastic uh, with the brush, but I will for the cap because this was product that was like at the top. Um, I have a lip brush, but I don't know how long it is. Hopefully I can still reach the bottom of this because it's just a sample size lip brush. Okay, um, and then the last lip product is this. This is the MAC Velvet Teddy Mini, and I got so much left on this. So I think I'm going to be layering lipsticks this month to see what works. I feel like this formula is very drying and the color, I can't remember how the color looks on me because normally when I wear this, I wear it on top of another lip color. Um, so yeah, but I remember that it's very drying and I don't like drying lipsticks because who does? But yeah, I really wanted to try out their lipstick formula and I've heard that Velvet Teddy is like, you know, one of their best selling lipsticks, so that's why I wanted to try it. And I don't think I'm going to get it. Because, what's the full price? Is it $19 now? 
Um, for $19? I feel like that's... Yeah, no. Um, it's too drying. I have... I much prefer the lipstick that I showed you earlier, which was the Laka lipstick. That is so moisturizing. It's actually a gel formula, but it's matte at the same time. I'm wearing it today on top of another color, so you can't really tell the true color, but it's quite moisturizing actually, so yeah. Anyway, that's my progress for this project. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time, hopefully with some very exciting news. Bye! <laughs>